I wake up every morning and I'm always surprised to see that the that my page is still up. <laughs> I'm surprised. I mean, it's just you see what's happening with the uh, censorship. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Before I do that, there's a um, there's a little pond over here, right? It's in Brooklyn, and um, it's a place you would never expect it. Right? It's right over the Varzano Bridge, and it's a little pond where people uh, wear ducks, and you see these big geese. Right? These giant birds live over here, right? And um, it's kind of become like a uh, like a last a last. Uh, uh, resort for certain animals well, what am I talking about a couple of years ago right people dumped off a bunch of chickens over here right and I don't know they were abandoned chickens and they had nowhere to go right and um, these chickens survived in the cold outside in the winter almost the whole winter they almost made it there was like five of them and um, I don't know what the story, what that story is about, but I come over here a lot. There's not a lot of birds right now to see, but it's kind of like a uh, a sanctuary for abandoned animals. Uh, you see, you see, oh, you see rabbits too. Sometimes you'll see a few rabbits hanging out. People throw their pet rabbits outside. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? I don't know. So, um, so this business of censorship, it's getting bad. It's getting bad, and here comes Conti to save the day. I'm going to save the day. I'm going to save the day. I usually come at things from a legal perspective because um, if you guys have been following me, some of you have. From the beginning, I was a guy who fought uh, a city mun municipality from a legal perspective, not only from uh, a perspective of of uh, exposing as a whistleblower, but also from the perspective of discrimination, racial discrimination, age discrimination, and such. So legal, legal stuff is kind of familiar with, to, uh, to me. And I could tell you what's going on right now. Um, Young Lee Camp is reporting 800 um, Facebook pages taken down. All dissonant voices. All people of. <laughs> dissonant voices. See, I, I, I don't like to buy into that language because it's not dissonant voices. It's voices of the people speaking up. We'll talk more about that. And um, Lionel, Lionel Nation also reporting the same on RT. Saying that... See, here's where I'm going to differ with Lionel Nation on, on the, uh, the legalities of what's going on. Because that's important right now, right? Look, it's a First Amendment. These are First Amendment violations, right? Don't kid yourself, right? There's, there's, there is a clear way to explain it. The protections are protected. Congress shall make no law, you know, holding back free speech or freedom of the press, right? Now, here's where it gets different, right? Here's where it gets really interesting for our time, right? It's actually, it's actually more, it's actually more interesting now and more relevant, the First Amendment in this case now, than at any other time in history. And I'll tell you why. Because, because the, the, the medium that we're using, Facebook, um, YouTube, are interactive mediums, right? They're social mediums. They're, see, in the old days, there used to be a newspaper on the floor, right? And the owners of that newspaper had a right to free speech, right? But now, see, like, for example, if I make a video and I put it on YouTube, right? And you comment on it. You're part of the discussion. See, you're part of that you're part of that free speech. Right now, I'm, I'm blowing the, the, the top off of the, the law. That's what this is called. <laughs> Take note, lawyers. <laughs> Mr. Beck. <laughs> Lionel. All right, this is, you, you're, 
the the actual look the the biggest case of our time right now in terms of this first amendment was alex jones still is he doesn't his his uh you know statue hasn't expired because he was the you could you had a clear he can clearly describe how an organization conspired against him right and it wasn't just one it was three or four so it was a it was a uh, a, a clear there's a clear conspiracy there to take away his freedom of speech right it was clear it is clear right and that's because of again the monopoly right you guys i, I mean you know let's say 500 times oligarch oligopoly monopoly right you're dealing with one you're dealing with one right now Mono facebook google you know apple uh, you say, oh, wait, but they're separate companies. They're not, they're, not a, they're not the same company. Well, yes, they are. Look who you have to, they're publicly traded. You have to look at the floats. Who's controlling them? It's the 10 banks. It's monopoly, right? It, it, it's, it's becoming harder and harder to escape now because of that notion of monopoly and oligarchy. But it doesn't make it impossible to overcome, right? But the fight back to social media where 800 dissonant voices or anti-establishment or just free speech voices strong ones with millions and millions of followers get deleted and when does it happen right before the election right the elections are fake right but there's still a need to manufacture the consent because when the election is stolen, which it will be, it always is, and you get this, um, that's a cool truck, right? It's got some graffiti on it. <laughs> but when, when the elections are stolen and, and the dissonant voices are not heard anymore, right? There's no, there's no outlet. There's nowhere to scream and cry and, and protest anymore because... Because if you control the, the narrative, if you control the, the, the flow of information, the mind stream, you control the people. You'll say, oh, you know, I, yeah, what was that site that used to talk about that stuff? Uh, what happened to them? Oh, I guess it, it's not important. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're, they're yelling and screaming and crying that, you know, three years of their, three years worth of videos and, 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 and building up a site of information is gone in a, in a flash. Right? It's a violation of the First Amendment. Right? Because the people have a right to, to congregate and speak up. This, this idea that some, some, for some reason there, there needs to be another Bill of Rights, a online Bill of Rights, that's bullshit. Don't go there. It's all in the First Amendment, right? All someone has to do is challenge, lose, challenge, lose, and work it up to the Supreme Court and fight it and win it there. And then the, that decision is, it, it can, be, can be leaned on throughout. That's how the law works, by the way. Supreme Courts are, are appellate courts. It, at least it is in our country. The Supreme Court is is not a court where you go and you try a case. It's, a, it's an appeals court where you've lost at the local level, you've lost at the state level, you have even could have lost at the federal level. And you're challenging now for maybe the third or fourth time. In the case of, you know, the people versus Larry Flint, which is, was one of my favorites. <laughs> There's so many other ones, but that was, that was an interesting one where where Larry Flint, uh, he did a graphic of, you know, that very, very foul and vulgar about Jerry Falwell's mother, you know, having sex with, you know, he wanted to fuck Jerry Falwell's mother. <laughs> it's outrageous, right? The guy's a pastor. But he was able, even in that extreme, he was able to, he was protected Larry Flint. He was protected by the First Amendment. 
See, we don't want to scrap the, I, 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 you know, people that want to go around, they, we don't want to scrap the Constitution, right? The Constitution works. The Constitution of the United States of America works, right? It was written by rebels, radicals that, that fleed England and other places too, Holland, the Dutch, right? They came here and they established this Bill of Rights with amendments, right? And we don't we don't have an interest in scrapping that. We have an interest, and don't buy into that. You know that's the the, the mainstream media narrative. That this, it's the the effort is too big. There's nothing you could do about it. It's too far gone. No, no, no. First Amendment. That's that's uh oh that old thing now that doesn't apply anymore. No, no, no. See. See, we, we've, we've come, no, you see, you, know, you, haven't been following, you haven't been paying attention. See, the First Amendment doesn't cover that because we own the company and that the company is, you're not allowed to have, you can't, you're on our, you're in our turf. You can't uh, speak. Why, you want to speak on our turf? No, you got to get your own turf and, and speak. Right? That's like saying back in the day where, where, where they own the street that the newspaper would sit on. Right? So, oh, no, no, you can't put your newspaper here because we own the street. It, 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 look, it's, it's a First Amendment case, and it should have started with Alex Jones, which it did not. And that's Alex Jones's, you know, fault. <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's a hell of a thing to argue on your own. But what I'm telling you in this video, and maybe for the first time people should realize it, that, that when you participate in social media, I think that's the message of this video is that when you participate in in social media like this I'm the talking head yeah but it's more than that it's the it's the hundreds of people that comment down below that make for free speech so it's freedom of the press and freedom of the speech all being taken away in a heartbeat because when one of my videos gets deleted or Alex Jones gets banned all of the comments that led up to that all of the people participating that led up to that are also being discriminated against their First Amendment rights are being violated as well right you understand so and, and and as a final point as a final point to the disgraceful disgusting people disgusting evil people that call themselves YouTubers and social media warriors and people about truth and free speech who monitor their own thread and delete opinion and delete descending voices people that don't agree with them and they, and they, and they ban them and they and they, they, they keep them they keep them quiet try to silence them right to those people I say you are disgusting disgusting disgraceful individuals that you do that to, that you do that right free speech look at look down below look at people call me everything on earth except the child of god <laughs> and that's fine that's fine that's that's because you notice as as it as people like that go on you realize how ridiculous their vernacular is, how 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 viscerally wrong they are, right? And and they're exposed, and other people see it, right? There's no reason to monitor that or to sugarcoat it and say, "Oh, look, you know, oh, look." See, everybody loves Conti. All the comments are beautiful. I don't want that. I want I want the truth. I want people to to think and be honest. So I say to the you know the people that monitor on monitor sites and have these wrench people and they and they don't even not even doing it themselves and having people delete comments because they don't agree with them guess what you have no opinion now you have no stance to argue that Alex Jones or people like Alex Jones or when it happens to you next because it's coming you have no stance, you have no grounds to stand on to say, ah, look, 
First Amendment. Oh, they've been violated. But you're doing it. You're doing it. See, it's we the people. You're doing it here to people. You're doing it, and then they're doing it to you. Right? Stop it. Let people speak. There's no shame in words. There's no shame in words. When it, when it escalates to, you know, physical threats and violence and psychoticism or just blatant off-subject spam, that's different, you know. And, it, it's, and in my experience, it's not, it's not often. I mean, very little of that. Because I think YouTube does a good job of at least filtering out some spam. I don't know. But don't participate in that. Don't, don't call yourself some kind of truth teller. And then you, you, you choose what is truthful because you have this little power. See, that's where you really measure a man's character or a woman's character or a human being's character. It's not when they're, it's not when they're nobody and they're trying to speak. It's when they have just this little bit of power. You give someone power and that's how you f figure out who they really are, right? You give them a little power and they take that, that power and they're on a power trip and they want to, now they're trying to silence you. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, so again, First Amendment, that's where we are right now. It's very important because <laughs> you know, <laughs> we're living in, you know, this, the, the, the monopoly that the banks have us by the testicles, right? Banks own all the, all, all the, the, they own the stock market, the float. They, they can, they're controlling so much, you know, they got all the politicians, they got the, the globalists, other countries. Everybody who's invested in the U.S. markets are, are controlled by 10 banks. There's the enemy. I mean, I, I say it over and over again, but maybe someday people will realize that, that that's where we're at right now. And um, the challenge on free speech is very, very important because once that's gone, you know, people are really, you know, they're really... It's Orwell. It's George Orwell's Animal Farm. They keep changing the rules changing the letters of the, the you know adding a word or a meaning they, they they distort the meanings of the constitution of the amendments of certain laws the laws to favor them right? the laws are written there's no need to there's no modification here to the people that want to modify the constitution no it's very clear and you can you you're and again the the takeaway and I'll I'll stop here because I'm already at 20 minutes is is that that the the biggest takeaway here is that social media is not just the creator of the content social media is the commentary the interaction of of people right and that's that's what makes it that's what makes it class action and not see Alex Jones is not just Alex Jones. Alex Jones is Alex Jones plus a million or two million people that have contributed over the years. And that's the that's the fundamental difference today and I think that that needs to be the the focal point if one case can 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 be tried and seen by the Supreme Court then the rest of us can lean on that. And that, um, you know, making them utilities and all that's not necessary. It's free speech. It's, that's what it is. Right? You could put your newspaper in the stand and it's, a, it's it, it, whoever, whatever's said in that newspaper is irrelevant. Right? It's irrelevant in terms of the eyes, in the eyes of the law. Free speech. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.